In this tutorial, I'll show you two examples on how to multiply or divide two power series. One power series may be multiplied or divided by another, term by term, for those values of x for which both converge, provided that division by zero does not occur. A series can also be multiplied by a constant or by a polynomial. The question reads, find the power series for e to the power of x times sine x. Discard any terms of fifth degree or higher. This part's really important, so keep that in mind. In fact, the first thing that I'll do is get rid of this term and this term because we have x to the power of 5 and x to the power of 7. That already goes against what I've highlighted here. What I will do is take this series, which I'll write down like this, e to the power of x times sine x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial. I'll take these four terms that you see and multiply it to x minus x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial. This is a binomial being multiplied to, let's say, a four-termed algebraic expression. And what we normally do is we take each of these terms, when it comes to expanding, is multiply this by 1, that gives us x, and this term multiplied to 1 gives us negative x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial, which is 6. Now I'll take this term, multiply to the x, that gives me x to the power of 2, and this term multiplied to the x gives me negative x to the power of 4 over, once again, 3 factorial, which is equal to 6. Next I'll take this x, multiply it to the following. This gives me x to the power of 3 over 2 factorial. This multiplied to this term gives us x to the power of 5. We can't include that one. x times x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial is x to the power of 4, 3 factorial, which is 6. This term multiplied to this term is once again something greater than a power of 5. Now we have to combine like terms. This term, this term are not alike, so that it ends up becoming our first two terms, x plus x squared. This term and this term are alike. In fact, they're the same except for opposite signs, so I can just cancel them out. And finally, we have this term and this term are alike. This right here is equal to 2, so we have x to the power of 3 over 2 minus x to the power of 3 over 6. That's the same thing as saying x to the power of 3 bracket 1 over 2 minus 1 over 6. Finding a common denominator multiplying this by 3 and this by 3 gives us 2 over 6. That's equal to a third. So our next term in line would be plus x to the power of 3 over 3. Now the fourth term would have been negative, so I'm just going to write down negative dot dot dot. That right there represents the product of e to the power of x times sine x. In question number two, we're expected to verify whether this series has been divided correctly. So we have e to the power of x minus 1 over x is equal to the following. Let's figure this one out. The Maclaurin series for e to the power of x is shown right here. And what I'll do is first subtract this expression by minus 1. So if I have e to the power of x minus 1, I'll take this minus 1 over to the other side. Then this 1 and this minus 1 will cancel out, leaving us with x plus x to the power of 2 over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial. That takes care of the numerator. And then we have over x. This means that I'll divide each of these terms by x. Let's see what happens if we do that. If I divide this by x, I end up with 1. Dividing this by x gives me x over 2. Dividing this term by x gives us x to the power of 2 over 3 factorial, which is 6. I'll just leave it as 3 factorial. And given that we had made a mistake originally, where this should have been 3 factorial, 4 factorial, this, in fact, does match and verify what you were supposed to get. Take a look. 1, 2, and 3. So there you have it. That is how to multiply or divide two power series.